Derek Morris, welcome to the UK. Um, this is your home, your place of birth. That's right. I was born in Bristol, went to primary school at Newbold College School and uh, grammar school here in, in London. So this is home. And now you're the president of Hope Channel. That's right. For the past year, I've had the privilege of being part of a global television network. We have 46 affiliates around the world. And we're excited about what God is doing and will do with Hope Channel UK. And so how, what impact is Hope Channel making around the world? You know, it's amazing to see how it's like the feeding of the 5,000 with five loaves and two fish. Yeah. It's amazing how um, some people with very limited resources that God is using them to, to impact their country and to impact the world. We see today that digital media is just magnifying in such a great way in what way is hope channel uh, being able to keep up with the demands of media well I think what we're always thinking about is a delivery system so for example when I'm traveling uh, and I walk through the airport very few people are watching a television set yeah. they're all looking on a smartphone or a tablet yeah. so apps and and websites are ways that we can deliver programming as well as well as uh, on a regular linear television. Absolutely, and so there's so much scope for <laughs> Hope TV. What are some of the plans for the future? Well, I think what we need to do is we need to um, set our cr best creative minds, uh, set them free to be able to say, what can I do for Jesus in mission? And, and most of those will be young people, young adults, who, who've grown up uh, what, what I would call tech savvy. Mm. They understand technology. They can probably do more with their smartphone than, than we used to do with big cameras. And just set them free to say, what can I do to share the love of Jesus and his plan for our lives uh, with those around me? Absolutely, and there's so many different platforms that mm -hmm. Hope TV is on now. What are, can you share some of the old ones and some of the newer? platforms we have today? Well, we're certainly on uh, satellite networks uh, around the world. We're also on free-to-air television. Uh, we're on uh, Roku, which is like an OTT system. Uh, but more and more are thinking about ways to deliver right, right into people's hands. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're, we're seeing a lot of different technologies. And, and certainly it's based on budget. If we don't have a lot of money, we may not be buying a lot of airtime, but we're delivering quality programming in other ways. The actual title, Hope, says a lot for someone who's struggling today mm -hmm. and they may be surfing the, the stations and they'll come across hope and that might give them encouragement. Is there an example of someone who has <laughs> discovered hope and shared that story with you? You know, it happens all the time when, and you're, you're right, the word hope is a powerful word. In fact, people die without hope. And so uh, even on the program that I, I host, Hope Sabbath School, people will write in and say, you know, I was just thinking that there has to be more to life than this. And just surfing and, and seeing that word hope and seeing some smiling young adults and saying, what do they know that I need to know? And ultimately it's the Holy Spirit's work that can direct a person to life-changing content and ultimately to a life-changing connection with Jesus. And we certainly pray for that. Derek, thank you so much for your time and for what you shared today. God bless you.